hide forever. Catch this! Crap! Take that! Mona had come through here, the dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Help me! Fire! Fire! Get me out of here! <coughs> oh, 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 bless you. I, I owe you one. This is where the fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Yeah, <laughs> I was a cop. <laughs> Cost me my marriage. Goddamn slime bags open Long up. Hours. There are people trapped in here. He was terrified something would happen to me. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor if you can kill the flames. A girl's gotta protect herself. I'm Violet. Uh, More uh, of them! The gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. Die, die, die. 
They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gognitti is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder.
Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter.
Lords and Ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My Lord Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed sheriff of your... The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. A pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, then. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> and worse. Keep dry. Such a late goodbye, and we keep driving. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Max, stop it! Coward! <laughs> Those cameras are my eyes. We need them to make this work. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. 
Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working here. This is a pro set, top of the line. This isn't something to joke about. This isn't just a costume party. Now take Kaufman. Believe me, without going into details, Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I, I meant nothing by it. And that's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take a stand for once in your life. Come on, I get the point, okay? Hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I get the point. You! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized in here and sucked every print, every hair, every mote of dust away, like someone went back in a time machine and killed his parents before they met, like this guy never existed. Let's do it. Almost done. The fat man wasn't ready to go. No? Nope. Tried to put up a fight, like killing an elephant. Took a dozen bullets before he went down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Right. Moving out soon. Yeah, I'll take care of it downstairs. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John! You must run! He's coming after you! He wants to catch you! They're closing in! John, I love you! Don't give up! I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the Flamingo on them. I ran.
Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Got to Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Find him, take care of him. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing?
What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes himself from deputy chief to lieutenant just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me? He loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA. He gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him though. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. I was putting off the inevitable. I had to go to my desk, get started on that damn report. I want to report a crime. You've come to the right place. Okay, so my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games an awful lot. Makes him a very good shooter. Holding that controller's like holding a gun, they say in the news. You gotta help me. I fear for my life. Okay, miss. Sit down for a moment and we'll take your name and address and see what we can do about it. Okay. 10-4. Repeat. Can you verify that? Okay, stand by. Go ahead. Did you hear that? Guns don't kill people, video games kill people. Jesus, welcome to New York City. Can you verify the... I thought about walking away, vanishing into the night. I couldn't do it. anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right yourself, Prasad. It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. It's the spirit of the law, not the letter. I'll be on your back about it till you do. You already put a snake in my bed. What more can you do?
I needed to talk to Mona. Behind bars, she wasn't going anywhere before I'd get some answers. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Yeah? Payne here. I need a statement from Mona Sachs. Sorry, Payne. She's upstairs in a lineup. Jack, my favorite son. Hey, we were watching that, asshole. You're turning to me in this distasteful affair. Hey, we're watching that. Mama, tell me what to do and I will Get do it. Get out of the way, Payne. Anything to save our name from disgrace? Yes, good, good. Hey, nice that going, Payne. Good job. If it was still summer, love. you'd be a dead man right she about now. Be you better stop praying. Jack, we won't get an boy, Indian summer, name. Payne. Our line is pure, precious, holy, and must be preserved at any cost. Go away. I'm busy. Some of us have work to do. Doesn't look like I'm open for business. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. I'm busy making a list of people whose butts I'm gonna fire. You don't want to be one of them. Right. We found you out of it on V, covered in blood, burying the pieces of your wife and the pizza guy under a rose bush in the backyard. There's a bloody chainsaw in the bathtub, and by the looks of it, they had been shot in your bed. The murder weapons have your prints all over them, and you say you didn't do it. Hell no! I'm a fool guy! I've been framed. It's a setup. I was getting too close to the truth, so they had to get rid of me. This should be good. Your wife and the pizza delivery guy had to get rid of you? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, they, they were gonna whack me. Motherfuckers, they, they, they were gonna whack me, steal my money. It was self-defense. Right, your wife and the pizza guy were trespassing in your bed, and you killed them. No, I didn't kill anyone. It's a frame-up. Weren't you listening? Okay, now I get it. Your wife and the pizza guy deviously conspired to set you up. They kill themselves in your bed with your gun, proceed to chop each other to pieces in your bathtub with your chainsaw, and finally lure you to the backyard where they patiently wait under the rose bush to inject you with V, and when you are helpless, they leak blood all over you and call the police. Anything to add? See, that's just it. I wish it was that easy. A and I know this sounds crazy, but they weren't in on it alone. It's much bigger than that. Basically, anyone who does home delivery is in on it. The mailman. And that means that the government is involved. The mailman told me all about it. So all we have to do is to get in touch with this mailman and we get the proof. See, that's not gonna work. He's dead. The mailman's dead. I'm sure the DA would go easy on you if you'd just come clean right now and told where you buried his body. I suppose it's not under the same rose bush. See what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. You're not listening. You failed to grasp how serious this is. Give me a gun and set me loose. And I'll have How's to anyone supposed to find mind? anything from here? It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Uh, 
Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They say she kicked out her husband a couple of years ago. Been taking care of her blind kid on her own. No wonder she's edgy. Anyways, she's talking to an eyewitness in the interrogation room. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. I wanted to talk to Winterson's witness once she was done with him. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs? The last pokey down the corridor to your left. Mona Sachs, huh? Lucky bastard. I wouldn't mind getting a statement from her. Yeah, she's a looker. She killed someone? Well, better be careful, Payne. Very basic instinct. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked up. You can say that again. I mean, there I am driving a stolen car on my way to the lot to get a trunk full of illegal guns to sell. Mind you, I don't have them yet. At this point, apart from the wheels under me, I'm a law-abiding citizen. At this point, I'm still just on my way to get the guns, okay? So the cops... Pull me over. That's fucked up. Uh, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm thinking when they when they pull me over. This is fucked up. And you know what? They couldn't care less about the car. No shit. That's the irony. It's some kind of if you drink, don't drive campaign. All they want is for me to blow into a breathalyzer. No shit. I kid you not. So with a breath of relief, I take the damn test. And just when it's over, when they're just about to wave me on my way... Uh-oh. The cops' eyes zoom in and stop on something sticking out from under the seat. Game over. What? A fucking gun. I didn't even know it was there. Must have belonged to the owner. Unlicensed. Turns out it's a murder weapon. How fucked up is that? That's pretty fucked up. So, uh, what are you in here for? Oh, me? A DUI. Oh, that's fucked up. Not again, Jesus, not again. Just when we got rid of the stench of the last time. Petersburg, do I look like a clean idiot to you? <laughs> You're doing fine. Breathe through your mouth. Sorry, sorry, I can't help it. It's a visions in my head, so ugly. <laughs> you gotta let them out so I can see. They look just like that. You're all gonna die. You know that? It's the clearest day. You can see it there. You're all gonna die. I've been cleaning up after this scale all night. Looks bad. Yeah, yeah, it smells even worse. You're all gonna die. <laughs> I wish. Max! 
You've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the Inner Circle was mentioned. As the lady says, we're all gonna die. And puke ain't pretty. But it never lies. I mean, sure, I'd be okay if we had Hannibal Lecter in custody every night, as long as he'd keep his stomach contents to himself. Can I use your phone? The air can- There's one through the door behind you. You can use that. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <coughs> Jesus! Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. behind a desk would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor, drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. 
I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait. Wait just a minute. Talk to me. What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want. My Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it. Or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. I couldn't get her out of my head.